Hello and welcome to your own channel. Let's talk business once again. I am Ravi and let's start talking business. We are still discussing CDR, but before that, let's have a quick recap first. So in future at Lloyd's modernization program, we are having Blueprint 2 initiative. And in Blueprint 2 initiative, we are having total 15 services. And these 15 services are divided into three broad categories, transactional services, full digital adaptation, and additional services. We have started with full digital adaptation services. In this category, we have total eight services. And currently, you know, we are covering core data record or CDR. In my last video presentation, we talk about the ways through which the CDR can be assembled and submitted to the digital gateway. Understanding the CDR and digital gateway definition is important. So I'm repeating it again. A CDR is a critical transaction data set that is required at the point of bind to automate four important processes, premium validation, claim matching, tax calculation and validation, regulatory reporting. All right, let's go and see definition of digital gateway. The digital gateway will receive, ingest, validate, enrich, and store the CDR data for risk underwritten by Lloyd's and company market carrier, who will use, I'm talking about the company market carrier, who will use the central digital processing services for premium and claim processing. Digital gateway is anyways mandatory for Lloyd's. We have already discussed the assembly and submission of CDR to digital gateway, document first and data first. If you want to know more about it, I will put a link over here. You can click the link and see the presentation. Now let's jump into the various scenario through which the CDR can be submitted to the digital gateway. Scenario number one, the slip is having Lloyd syndicates only. When the Lloyd syndicates are only participating in the slip, in this case, the return line will automatically trigger the CDR submission. It is mandatory to submit the CDR to the digital gateway, even if the CDR contains the partial information. The second important point to understand is that the any partial CDR with the return line submitted to the digital gateway will be stored in the data store. I will cover the data store in the subsequent presentations. Don't worry about it. But we have to understand that the data will be stored in the data store, despite of fact that it is having some validation errors. The relevant party will manage all the relevant validation or errors during the placement journey. We have to understand one key point that the broker is our key protagonist in the entire show. The broker is responsible for orchestrating the placement process even where the e-trading platform automates the return line submission to the gateway. So broker is responsible to ensure that the placement is fully completed. So broker is our protagonist in this entire show. CDR is mandatory as soon as the Lloyd syndicate put their return lines. Going next. The second scenario is where the company market is participating. Now, submission of CDR to the digital gateway in the company market only scenario is optional. It is really depend if they are using the central services or not. Again, in this scenario, the broker holds a complete responsibility to orchestrate the CDR submission process and to ensure that the placement is fully completed. Moving ahead. Let's talk about the case number three. We have both Lloyd's syndicate and company market participating in the slip, but Lloyd's is leading the slip. In this case, as you know from the case number one, as soon as the Lloyd lead underwriter agree to the written line, the CDR must be submitted to the digital gateway. Now, since the company market participant is following, then it is mandatory for them also to submit the CDR to the digital gateway as soon as they agree to the Written line. And just like case number one and two, the broker is holding the complete responsibility of orchestrating the CDR and ensuring that the placement is fully completed. 
Now going to the case number four, where we have company market leading the slip and Lloyd syndicate following the slip. In this case, you know from case number two, the CDR submission is optional for the company market participant. But again, as soon as the Lloyd syndicate agreed to the return line, it is mandatory to submit the CDR to the digital gateway. Now, an important point to know here is now this time the CDR will include the company lines too because it is agreed already. Again, our broker is playing an extremely important role here in orchestrating the CDR and making sure the submission process is complete. So these are four possible scenarios. Now quickly talk about some of the key benefits. We have already talked about this key benefit, but let me talk about them once again. Regulatory reporting. Early notification of sign lines provide a greater visibility of premium and exposure which means that it will help to produce the accurate regulatory reporting to various regulators across the world. The greater contract certainty can be achieved as the carrier can able to access the data early in the process. Capturing the data early in the process will give a greater opportunity to improve the downstream processing by automating them. And confidence in the data will increase because we are now getting the data early in the process. Well, that's all from today's video presentation. I hope you have gained something. I will continue to cover the FAL because it's an interesting and important transformation project. Bye-bye and I will see you soon in my next video presentation. Take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.